All right, people, welcome to this video. It is the next morning since the last video, and uh, we're quite tired. And so far, the trip has been a little bit lackluster, though there were some cool snakes in the last episode. But we are hoping for more today. We're going to start off the day by hiking. Seems nice and sunny today as compared to the uh, ton of rain that we got yesterday. So hopefully that sets us on the course for some more wildlife. So we're going to get after it and uh, see what we find. All right, so uh, so far we're hiking with not a lot of luck, but uh, super cool scenery. It's like a different world down here in South Florida than up north, I mean, which is to be expected, but it literally looks like the jungle. Super excited to uh, just observe the ecology of this area. It's pretty awesome, but hopefully we get something soon. All right, so Tommy just spotted the uh, first cool reptile of the day this Florida box turtle sitting back here in the bushes. That's pretty cool. A lifer for all of us. Look at the little dude. Different looking than our box turtles back home. For sure. But look at the algae growing on the edges of the shell. You can tell that it spends more time in the swamps, which makes sense, I mean, <laughs> in the Everglades, but cool. We're gonna take a couple pictures and keep hiking. How are we feeling? <laughs> he looks like Woogie from There's Something About Mary at the end of the movie. I don't get the reference, but at least yeah. it's nice out here. Looks like you caught a rare disease. <laughs> <laughs> Could have gotten one of those weird tropical diseases. Yeah, look at this. Never know. Mosquitoes here don't mess around. Nice All right, Alex has the first snake of the day. Racer, but not the racer we have back home. This is an Everglades racer. And look at him, he's being rather grumpy, but... He's gearing up. So the Everglades racers, whoa, buddy, <laughs> relax. Everglades racers, excuse me. The, can I, can I please? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to show your side, but the Everglades Not racers good. have a little bit more of like a bluish, yellowish hue and overall more gray, lighter coloration to them. Um, in addition to a little bit of what looks like a mask and kind of like lighter lip and and snout, but they're cool. Uh, we've seen a couple, but not really been able to get a good look at any of them so far, so we might take a couple pictures of this guy. All right, well, this guy's just being absolutely uncooperative. He's going. Do you want to just let him go? See you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm sure we'll see more, and uh, we're hoping for some other types of snakes, too, so on to better things. <laughs> All right, we just spotted the second snake of the day, a little pygmy rattlesnake hanging out right here. It's just coming out to bask. We're probably going to leave it as it is. I might grab a couple pictures and then um, hopefully we see some more. I'm hoping we see one that's a little more exposed. Sweet. Just walked up on this courting pair of pygmy rattlesnakes. This is awesome. Check it out. These guys are just getting ready to mate here. Oh my god, that's so cool. We're trying our hardest. I'm all the way zoomed in on my video camera. We're trying real hard not to disturb these guys because, I mean, <laughs> next generation is important. But look at that. I believe that's the male on top doing all that moving and rubbing and stuff. That's super cool. Yeah, look at his head ticking like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Nice spot, though. Wow. This is so cool. Go 
Oh, do you want do you want to walk backwards? I think we can walk around them, but just we yeah, got it slowly. Let's. Oh, their heads are together right now. That is mad cool. All right, I think this is probably a good time to part, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right. So holy cow, is that, that is freaking awesome. That makes my day already. I mean, that's the best look that I've gotten so far at Pygmies and definitely the best shots and stuff I've gotten. And then to see two mating and that, you know, in incredible event right there, I, you know, I'm really excited. That, that's we're just, jazzed. yeah, we're very excited. We're, we're excited. So that was awesome and one thing that I'm very proud of with that moment is we did not disturb the snakes at all. Um, I'm not trying to be on a soapbox here or anything like that, but with a breeding event or something like that, it's just important to try your best as excited as you are, you know, not to disturb what's going on or spook the snakes. And I feel like we did that pretty effectively. Uh, it's easier to say ahead of time, oh, I wouldn't disturb an event like that, but then in the field, you know, things happen and it's pretty easy to get excited and get a little too close and, you know, anyway, super excited about that. We're going to keep hiking. I'm really hoping we turn up something like a Diamondback or uh, really anything else, but day is made already. That's so cool. Yeah. All right, we got a nice little pygmy right here. Good look at one that's not mating, so it's nice to be able to uh, get a little closer to one. This cute little notches on this rattle. So small. Right along this field edge, we have pygmy number four for the day. Check this one out. Perfectly coiled. That's pretty neat. I might grab a picture or two because can't get much better than that in terms of posing. Look at that. Awesome. All right, cool. We're gonna leave that guy where he is and keep hiking. So we've transitioned to some uh, road cruising slash scanning outside the edges of the dirt road that we're on. Alex spotted this nice Everglades racer. Second one of the day. We've seen a bunch of these this trip, but no complaints. Don't struck my face though. Yeah, careful. Yeah, you're... <laughs> I got that on video. My arm. <laughs> right before he said, don't strike my face, I was going to say, you're asking to get bit in the face by giving him that much this slack. This is a fossil ad. His eyes are moving. All right, buddy. Oh, oh. See you later. Not the cleanest release, but... All right, so it's been a little while since we last found anything. We're actually cruising now, hoping to see something on the road. Uh, got a little hot for hiking and uh, we were really tired, feet were hurting, <laughs> and so we got some food, but uh, I'm going to let you guys know if anything crosses the road or later if we we're able to shine anything on foot. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, so first snake of the night right here. It's been a long, grueling episode of crueling. <laughs> I have no idea what I just said. It's been a long, grueling episode of cruising and we have not seen any snakes tonight aside from a Dior pygmy so yesterday was like curse of the cotton mouths today is curse of the pygmies yeah can't complain about a pygmy like this nice and white pretty thing all right neat we're gonna leave this guy as he is hunting lizards or whatever he's doing and we're gonna keep hiking along
Check this out. This is freaking awesome. So this is actually one of two Everglades rat snakes that we just saw. One of them was in a crevice in a tree and it started to get away. This one we shined and were able to successfully get. Super exciting. I've seen some yellow rat snakes before, but never the uh, brighter Everglades phase. I think they can get pretty orange in some parts of the range. I'm not sure if that happens here, but I mean, just look at that stomach. It's vibrant. And this is a young one, so as it ages, I imagine it will get darker and more colorful, but I mean, this is just super, super cool. Look at those stripes it has on it. Awesome snake. Happy to find this. We're going to take some pictures of this snake and then we're going to let it go. Look at the red eye. That's awesome. That's crazy. All right, guys, well, after that rat snake, we didn't really see much. It's turning out to not be a very productive night, and it's like midnight now. Literally not a single snake even crossed the road that we saw, um, except for two DORs, and we cruised quite a bit, shined a lot, so not a whole lot going on. We're going to wake up in the morning and get after it at a different location, and uh, hopefully we have better luck. All right, folks, it is the next day, and... Uh, we're already out doing some hiking, hoping to find something out and about basking before it gets a little too hot. And then I think when it gets too hot, where we don't think we're going to find anything, we're going to transition to cruising. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Alright, first snake of the day right here, Alex and Tommy spotted. It's a nice little pygmy rattlesnake. I mean, maybe not so little. It's a pretty large one. But, uh, we've got some good shots of this species so far, so I don't think I'm really going to bug it too much. Um, cause the sunlight's pretty harsh and all that. And we're kind of hoping for some other species at this point, as cool as these guys are. So, um, we're going to keep hiking around. All right, so the day heated up pretty nicely and uh, that put an end to hiking, but it should mean good things for cruising later. Right now we're just kind of driving around and sightseeing, hoping we stumble upon a snake, but uh, I'll get back with you guys when we're into some action. Let's see real yeah. quick. A snake! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a big one. And he's pretty. That's a nice big rat all kinked up. Just like a rat should be. Hell yeah! We're on the board! Here we go, boys. Let's get rowdy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's scared Too rowdy, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a good sign that you can see dragons. <laughs> you might pull it nice for you. Majorly in my Look eye. at this chotch with his, his cut off shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bucket hat. Alright, All right. so we got a big yellow rat crossing the road. This is awesome. It's definitely something we wanted to see this trip. That's nice a... yellow face and reddish colored eyes. Uh huh. Pretty snake for sure. That's cool. I'm hoping tonight's going to be a good night. Alright, so check that out. That's awesome. A big yellow rat. We got those two smaller ones last night and got a good look at one of them, but um, it's much nicer to get a uh, 
He's casting sorry. shadows all over oh, me, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> on the face of the snake. <laughs> I, didn't I kept moving and then you'd move it back on. <laughs> That's fine. But anyway, uh, nice to get a good view of this big one right here. This is definitely a snake that I've wanted to see for a while. So, pretty cool. Um, definitely kind of looks like your Everglades phase. Nice yellow with a red eye. It's a beautiful snake. I love rat snakes. Yeah. All right, off to a good start for the evening. I'm gonna let this beautiful snake go right off in here and uh, there it goes into the grass and palmettos. We're gonna keep cruising around. All right, so uh, we drove into some dumping rain, which was not a good call. Did not see that coming in the forecast. So we turned around, dodged the storm. Doesn't look like it even rained here. Missed probably some good cruising time, but got the consolation cottonmouth who's now gaping as cottonmouths do. That's kind of fun. He's pretty nice. Pretty. Uh, car's coming. Uh, there's another car coming the other way too. I need to move him. Uh, He's going off this way. Just let him go. Should He's we... going to come back and kill himself. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay. I don't so know. Many cars. For the record, we did the moral thing. It was hectic, so we didn't film, but we did move the, the cotton mouth onto the side of the road that it was headed because we don't want it to come back on and get hit, and this is a busy road. So, good deed for the night. Took a little time out of our night. It was hectic, like I said, but hopefully that means we get rewarded with karma. So, we will see. <laughs> All right, so Alex got the next snake of the night here. It's a little. Florida green water snake. We shined in some rocks in the water and he was able to make the snag. Let me get a little up close to that guy. I pride myself in not getting bit. Cool little face <laughs> on these guys. Pretty neat. See that patterning on the side. Cool snakes. We're gonna let them go on the rocks and uh, keep looking for stuff. Go that way. All right, we got a snake crossing. Nice little brown water snake. Look at him periscoping. That's fun. That's official. Oh, you gotta be a little beast to see those rings. Yeah, right. All right, you wanna give him a poke? Oop. <laughs> you guys went around. Give him oh, another buddy. poke. Come on. Tommy's gonna get bit. Tom, Tommy's gonna get bit. <laughs> Come on, I... man. Get off the road. <laughs> Just go. Come on. Yeah. There you go, buddy. There you go. All right, we've got one green water snake here. You stink. Oh my god, wait, look another way. Oh, grab him. That's a bandit. <laughs> oh, he pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna let this guy go. I don't want to Hold on. All right. <laughs> you already seen these guys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you want to bring him up here and we'll get a little video? Dude, you take him right now. I, I don't want to touch that and get a musk done. <laughs> Me <crying. laughs> wow, what a team player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see that thing. That's a pretty one. Sweet. Hold there for a minute. This is the last bit of action you needed to cap your video, Will. Look at that stomach. Cool. Dang, that's cool. That yeah, is real cool. <laughs> Do not <laughs> throw him in the water. <laughs> like the old people and they're like walking a turtle across her and they just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, this is a productive one. How about that? All right, so uh, it got late and colder, and we're actually moving north for the next video, and that's pretty much what we're doing right now. So uh, we called it a night. We made it this far in the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully more snakes in the next episode, and uh, we'll catch you on that next one.